guys welcome back to project angling Xavier here I'm out at a stretch of river um, that I'm gonna explore today so there's no specific species we're targeting I'm just trying to find new spots and see what fish they hold so yeah what you can hear behind me I hope you can hear the water there is the river rushing down so there's a couple of rapids then uh, slow spots and then rapids again and then so I'll work my way along the bank of the river Man, it's going to be an awesome day. The sun's out. I got you a little later than what I expected. But yeah, we can only do with what we have. So yeah, stay tuned. Enjoy this one. So yeah, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to work my way along these fast rapids. And then you can see like there's areas where it gets pretty slow and then rapids again. Uh, so I'll work my way all along here and see how far I can get. I've got the whole morning to do this so yeah no real time limit but let's see what we can find. I'm only fishing with like a two or three gram jig head, so. I think as the morning goes on, we'll see what works. So I'm starting with a nice soft plastic. Just have it bump on the bottom, see what's in the fast water. So yeah, this is going to be like a, a couple of casts, take a few steps, couple of casts, take a few steps, so. So I think that there will probably be like most of Taiwan's rivers are actually um, quite rich in in cichlids so without a doubt we're gonna probably do see some cichlids or catch some But also, there's also brown snakehead, um, the Amur catfish, they like to hit leos. That would actually be quite nice if we can get one. Um, so, what I try to do is I just try and cast along the, the bank of the river. So I'm not trying to cast really into the fast water just want to cast where the fast water and the slow water kind of meet because that's mostly where fish would be laying waiting for any food insects to get washed out by the stream and because Taiwan has had quite a lot of rain and heavy rain over the last couple of months or so I think it's about two months maybe most of the area is pretty clean because it like washed out a lot of the the debris so you can see there's like a pile of of uh, vegetation and at the back there was a pile of vegetation so yeah places like that is normally going to be a hideout but it's also a place where you lose a lot of leos
All right. Yes. Yes, on. Not a very big fish, but I wonder what this is. Ooh, there he's boxing now. Wonder where he went. So yeah, I don't really care about the lure too much. I'm worried about the the fish because I've never caught this fish before. I think he's stuck in an old rag or a stick. go yep yes 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 oh geez so he kind of swam into this little looks like an old piece of sock so yeah there's the fish it's uh if I remember correctly I think they call them a trimax cichlid. They have a very, 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 very small mouth. But it's a new species for me. You see what I mean when I say going to these rivers. You never know what you're going to catch. Look how gorgeous this fish looks. It's just a beautiful fish. My goodness. These fish actually belong in your aquarium. It's just absolutely amazing. Gorgeous fish. It is family of the tilapia, the jaguar, cichlids, all of them all in the same on the same family tree I suppose but cute 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 little fish look at those colors greens, blacks, reds, browns, silvers purples wow amazing absolutely cool yeah and he managed to wrap himself around like there's like a piece of metal sticking out of the ground and he wrapped himself around there with like a piece of uh, material, looked like an old sock. He managed to wrap himself out there, so I'm soaking wet from the legs down. But, oh well, that's part of fishing. Yeah, I'm going to take a couple of photos and then uh, get this little guy back. Beautiful fish. I'll put him down in the water here and just let him swim off. Just give him some time to, to recover a little bit. Where are you going? See? Bye bye buddy. Yep, 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 yep. Fish, fish on. Jaguar cichlid, maybe? Yep, Mr. Jaguar cichlid. Let's see. Very feisty cichlid, this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Here we go. Beautiful little Jaguar cichlid. Small one, still a cool little fish. Good, beautiful colors, gold, silver, black. It's like a shade of like military green in there as well. Yeah, beautiful, gorgeous fish. All right, let's get him unhooked and get him back. Yeah, there's our Jaguar cichlid, just gonna let him go down here again. 
Bye bye buddy. There he goes back. Yep. What's this? Feels very feisty. Probably another Jaguar cichlid. Yeah, 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 it is. Another little Jaguar cichlid. Gorgeous little fish. There's he right there in the water. There's he in the water there. Get the net out. Oh, he's just lip hook. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Yep. In. Good stuff. Nice little Jaguar cichlid again. Yeah, there's our little Jaguar cichlid. And just let him go here. Bye bye. Huh. He just went straight under the rock to go rest. Yep. Fish on. I think it's a big jaguar cichlid. Yeah. It's not really big, but the current makes it feel quite, quite big. Yes. Yeah guys, there you go, a gorgeous jaguar cichlid, early morning sun, look at those colors, amazing. It just hit my little mustard edgy worm as I retrieved it from the opposite side of the bank. So I cast across the little stream to the opposite side because there's many tributaries leading into the main river. So I'm still following one of the tributaries. Yeah, gorgeous fish, look at that amazing yeah let's get this guy back yeah so far this uh, session has been turning up quite a few species it's been looking good
Oh, that was a bite. Not a bite. See if they if the fish don't commit fully they basically with the like if you can see on the lure if the fish don't commit fully then they just bite on the back end here and most times well more often than not they actually bite one of these tails if you can see that there's some teeth marks in there yeah Oh, that was a bite. Oh. So I'm just trying to get it like right next to the bank and then just move it a little bit. Like that. And then just slightly. And on. You see? Very, very territorial fish. So I think this might be another. This might be a, a Midas cichlid. Again. Beautiful yellow color. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gorgeous. Another, another species for the day. Man, it's awesome. Here we go, here we go. Yes, in the net. Here we go. Another, another species for the day. A little Midas cichlid. Very yellow, you can see there. It's literally like sunflower yellow. Beautiful. Cool fish. Yeah, guys, there we go. A beautiful little uh, Midas cichlid. Very, very yellow. I've only caught it once before, and then it was an unknown species to me. But yeah, so you go on and so you learn. Beautiful little fish. Bright colors. Let's get him back. Here we go, little guy. Fish on. Probably Jaguar cichlid, very, very. Feisty. Yep, and a much better sized fish. My goodness, look at that fish. Oh, he's just hooked. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go. The sizes keep getting better and better. Look at the size of this fish. It's a gorgeous Jaguar cichlid. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah, I don't want to fool around too much with the fish. I'm just going to get him unhooked and then put him straight back. So, yeah. Great Jaguar cichlid. A Jaguar cichlid, I'm just gonna pop him back. He's alright. And there he goes. Okay, let's quickly rig this again. That's the edgy worm, but like two little kickers at the back.
That's it. So yeah, I changed baits from the little pink edgy worm to a hearty rise, one of these pink uh, orange grubs. So yeah, you see there's like a, a bucket in the water. I'm going to start there and then work my way across casting, 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 casting until I get to the bank. I hope I don't get stuck before then because it's like shallow, deep, shallow, shallow, shallow and then deep here. So. On first cast, Jaguar cichlid. First cast, little Jaguar cichlid. Cool. Right in the lip. Yes, in the net. Here we go. First cast with a hearty rise grub. There you go. And one thing about these grub things, they always end up losing their tails. I mean, that was the first cast there, the tails off. But we just committed that much to it. So yeah, awesome stuff. Beautiful Jaguar cichlid there, hooked right in the lip. Great stuff. So yeah, I'm not gonna play around too much. Just gonna let him go, here we go. Bye bye. Another Jaguar secret, yeah, it's getting blistering hot now. So I'm just gonna work my way to the end there and then I'm gonna call it quits. Get out of the sun. But yeah, this is a beautiful fish. Good stuff. Well, at least we know the, the basically the Jaguar cichlids are pretty, their population's pretty strong in this section of the river. It's really cool. On my last cast of the day, I managed a very beautiful jaguar cichlid on a mustad edgy worm, the pink one. So yeah, I think this is a good one to, to finish off the, the morning. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, I had a ton of fun just coming out here, exploring new spots, checking how the environment has changed since the heavy rains. I hope that this gives you the motivation to go out and do the same explore your town explore your city explore your neighborhood i'm pretty sure you can find a hot spot somewhere so yeah i'm gonna get this one back so yeah guys that's it from me down here at the river I've explored as far as I could as I showed you from the top there right down the bank right to the to the point here I can go a little further but let's leave that for another adventure so yeah I caught tons of fish um, I don't think all the fish would have made it to the video so yeah we covered Jaguar cichlids we had a Mida cichlid we had the Trimax cichlid that's a new species for me and definitely the takeaway of the day um it's been awesome i love coming out here 
especially now that the seasons have changed a little so yeah it's always awesome like i said please i hope this motivates you to go and explore your own city your own town your own suburb and you can probably find a hot spot somewhere so yeah please remember to like comment share and subscribe to the channel yeah that's it on to the next one